Car D Kaizoku. Let's go first. Uh, two clunky of a hand. Let's mulligan. Two robins in a round table. That'll be useful. We'll play chopper and pass. They play beach and beach and pass. Let's attack with our leader. They take the damage. Robin and pass. They put Dawn on Kid and attack us for 6k. We'll take. They pass with 3 Dawn open. Weird. Uh, we'll attach 1 Dawn to Robin. Attack Kid and KO 1 Beach. They block with the other Beach. Looks like I had 99 problems, but a Beach wasn't one. Attack with our leader. They take. We'll play a second Robin, then Chopper, and pass. They attack our Robin with Kid. We'll counter for 2k. If he didn't have anything to play last turn, he must have a bunch of big threats in hand. Will we start seeing them this turn? He activates Kid's leader ability to untap. They attack Robin again with one extra Dawn. We'll block with Chopper. If he discarded a law, his hand must be even scarier. Let's rush him down. Dawn on leader. One Dawn on Robin and attack their leader for 6k. They counter for 4k and tap our other Robin. Uh, attack with our leader for 6k. They take. Paradise Waterfall trigger. Why is a 1 cost defensive card able to KO up to a 4 cost character? We'll play Luffy and attack for 7k. They take. They play Nekomamushi to rest our chopper. They attach 1 Dawn to Kid. They attack Robin for 6k. They activate Kid's leader ability, then attach 2 more Dawn to Kid. They attack our Luffy for 8k. Darn, no rush cards in hand. Let's get him to 0 life at least. They have no Dawn open for events, so 5 Dawn on Zoro to attack for 10k. They take. Then we'll play 2 Vivi and pass. They play another Nekomomushi to rest our VV. They attack VV with Kid. We'll block with Chopper. They play 5 cost Law. They swap Nekomomushi with Killer Blocker. They attach 1 Dawn to Nekomamushi and attack Vivi for 4k. Hmm, they have 2 Dawn open. But this is my only option this turn anyway. 9 Dawn on Zoro. Then Diable Jam to bypass blockers. Swing 14k at leader. If they survive this, we just need to draw Luffy or another Diable Jam before they play 8 cost kid. Well, they lived. And they tapped our VV with Punk Gibson. Oh, they're a fan. I don't mind losing if it's to a viewer.
They attack our VV with kid. Then they play 8 cost kid. Oh, it's over. Or not. Jet pistol top deck. Uh, let's play Nami. No Luffy or Diablo jump. Seriously? We'll take Robin, I guess. Um, let's just jet pistol law. We can combo Robin with Roundtable next turn to handle 8 cost kit. We'll play Robin and pass. Oh right, they had a Nekomamushi in hand from earlier. Shoot, I threw this game. They attach one Dawn to Kid and attack Robin for 9k. And the starter deck kid to add insult to injury. I'm just gonna speed up the rest of this match. Once kid is this developed, it's just a slow bleed out for me. And we lost. I ended up never getting another Luffy or Diablo Jom for the rest of the game. Looking back at the match, maybe if I had attached one Dawn to Vivi to attack at this point, they might have used a counter so I'd have one less to worry about. But they had two blockers up so probably wouldn't have made a difference. I had no way of knowing he had three Ezos and a Punk Gibson in hand. The blunder that was my fault came from the turn I had Round Table and Jet Pistol in hand. I had the answer for 8 cost kid. But I tried to go for the higher value play to kill both Law and Kid. I completely forgot he bounced the second Nickel Momushi back to hand earlier. Oh well. GG Bonners. Okay, bye. Cardi Kaizoku. Oh, nice. Damn, Mr. Berks was singing. Now we're freaking it.